People of Interest is brought to you in part by the Roman Catholic Church. If you want to call Pope Francis Pope Frank, he's totally cool with it. Most children learn that Santa Claus doesn't exist by the time they turn 10. For Tom Deckard Holland, however, that moment has never come, and he has de dedicated his life so that it never will. Deckard Holland is the foremost and only researcher who is trying to prove that Santa Claus is actually real. Now he claims to have actual proof that will net him a lucrative grant to head up an expedition to the North Pole. He is asked to come on tonight to plead his case. Tom Deckard Holland, welcome. Hi, thank you. Uh, now I see you've uh, brought some, some photos of uh, of uh, proof. Uh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, um, the elusive Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you a question. Um, when was the first time you heard uh, the rumor that Santa Claus wasn't real? Well, I can remember my parents sat me down and wanted to have a talk. Sure. And. I was about 14, I guess. <laughs> sure. They said it wasn't right for me to go to school every day and tell other children that Santa Claus existed. And it felt bad for me. So they told me that Santa wasn't real. And you didn't believe them? Of course not. Uh, why not, I suppose? The cookies? <laughs> They're eaten every... Christmas morning, morning, and they're, or they're like who, who else could be eating them? <laughs> My point exactly. Uh, some, some people might argue that uh, you know perhaps your parents are eating them to make it seem like Santa Claus is doing it. That's true. That's true. But being the skeptic that I am, I had to say that well, there's a possibility, a very very strong possibility that it wasn't. My So I've held on to that idea. And here we are. Yeah. Now, uh, if, we, if we could go uh, through a few of these. Uh, the, the one on the top left, you obviously have a sort of an image of, so it's a little, it's incredibly blurry, uh, but uh, it looks something like a sleigh and reindeer. Something like? That's yeah. very, very obviously a sleigh. Yeah, or an airplane. No, that there are reindeer in the front. If you look, you okay. see legs. Yes, uh, yes. Okay, I see that. Uh, but there's only two. Santa has uh, eight reindeer. Well, Santa's been, you know, forced to make cutbacks. Really? You have this uh, firsthand, or what are your sources? Well, if you look at the global economy. <laughs> sure. It's kind of been failing. And we can both agree that the North Pole falls into the global economy. Yeah, it's certainly not in the global. Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, the, uh, the North Pole is, uh, if you look on Google Maps, it's, it's purely water. Well, well why, doesn't, why doesn't Santa's workshop show up on Google Maps? Google tends to hide things that they don't want people to see. For, for instance? Well, you looked at Area 51? Uh, I have not. It's just a blur. Uh, yeah. So, why did they just blur Santa's workshop instead of... They decided to make it white. And pretend to pass it off as snow. Right. When there's very obviously a Santa's Christmas village. Okay, sure. Um, I don't think that's true, but you know, you're certainly welcome to your opinion. Now, you have some photographs of Santa Claus here uh, in various uh, different positions. It never seems like he's the same shape. Like it seems like he's some kind of taller or shorter, or uh, you know, he might be like he looks like maybe that guy kind of looks like you, like he's your dad maybe. <laughs> Well, Santa has been forced, as I said, to make cutbacks. Sure. That includes his weight. <laughs> okay. And his height? Need be? His height. Okay. Um, 
Now, you took this bottom picture, I understand, this, this one, where it looks as though there's, there's reindeer uh, coming uh, off of a roof. Uh, I, uh, I, my researchers went to that house and found that they're just decorations. <laughs> Look, Santa doesn't want us to know he exists. Okay. So what he does is leave clues on For the people like you to actually find yeah. the, the really clever ones. Have you ever heard of the Da Vinci Code? Yes. <laughs> very, very similar. So there's like a Santa code. Yes. <laughs> Santa code. Oh, oh yes. Same thing. Uh, what would what would be an example? Well, these decorations that you found. Mm -hmm. I took the picture with no decorations there. Oh. I didn't put them there. Is that going to be my parents too? <laughs> no. I mean, unless that's your parents' house. It was my parents. <laughs> Okay, sure. No, that's, that's, uh, I'm sure that's, um, could be. And it's blurry, you know. Might want to invest in a better, you could ask for Santa for a better camera. And I've been a good boy. <laughs> Is it harder to be a, a good boy as you get older? Mm, it varies, person to person. Yeah. Scientific studies say that good is a really subjective thing, uh -huh. and it's kind of hard, a gray area. Sure. Santa's the only one that can do it, indubitably. Oh, of course, <laughs> yeah. Do you feel, uh, how, how is, how's your track record been in terms of being a good boy? I would say 95%. Really? Yes. So, uh... One, plus or minus one margin error. Oh. Uh, so you, you, you must have been on the naughty nice one year. Can you, can you tell me about, was that, it must have been a dark time for you. All right. Well, I can't say that I wasn't on the naughty list, okay. being the skeptic that I am. Sure. <laughs> but I feel that sometimes you just need to be a little naughty. Oh. <laughs> but Santa sees the good in it. Okay. So you were naughty for a good cause. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically what, if you don't mind my asking? <laughs> well, I went out to the grocery store, and I needed money to go home. Mm -hmm. So, I went up to the the worker out there with the bell, the Salvation yeah. Army. Yes, Salvation yeah. Army, yeah. And I asked very, very politely, I was very, very polite about it. Okay. I said, could I maybe borrow some money, and I will pay it forward. Yeah, sure. right? Yeah, that seems like Santa Claus would be okay and with that. People have told me that that's a very horrible thing to do. Yeah, most people would agree. That's not, uh, it's usually for the poor, not for the... But I think it was a good cause. I did all this research, a lot of work. If I never got home, I might not have ever continued my work. <laughs> so you stole that money. Hey, I, I said I asked very, very, very politely. And they said no. Well, after asking a couple of times, they eventually said yes. And I got $2 to go home. Huh, well that, that a Christmas miracle. Yeah, a Christmas miracle. Hi. Christmas spirit. There you go. Now, uh, how do you feel about mall Santas? <laughs> I say... There aren't people dressing up as Sasquatch. Yeah. They're not doing that. So let's not do that to a real person like Sam. Uh, but uh, do you feel it? Yeah, you feel it's you know. You, do you feel it uh, sort of hurts uh, Santa's mission? I think it kind of undermines him. How yeah. so? The kids look up to like a false idol. <laughs> and they just worship this thing that's not there. And I see it, and it makes me sad. Wow. Uh, final question. How do you feel about the Easter Bunny? <laughs> A load of crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tom Decker Holland, thank you so much for being here.
actual support for People of Interest is brought to you by Philly Improv Theater, Philly's home for comedy. In addition to shows every week of the year, FIT offers classes in improv, sketch, and stand-up. For more information, visit phillyimprovtheater.com.